Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention, we've got five minutes to round up. Please, if you have had your meals, we'd like you to take up your seat. We'd like to commence this evening's service. So in no way that we hurry those that are at the dining table.
Ladies and gentlemen, my humble apologies. We inadvertently forgot the most important ingredient in the commencement of this evening's prayer. That's a coconut. But we're not too far from here. We just waiting that so that we can commit.
So you can do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't have to walk up and down. See now, I can just put it like this, yeah? See? Yeah. There. See? Yeah. And move it there. See? And move it there to that. Put it there. See? See? Check. Yeah, that's easy. This is... Uh, Perfect. Perfect. Good at it. Yeah. You can sit on the top there. I'm, I'm the chief director. Chief director. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Are you from Sega? Yeah. You're a dicky shop. Yeah? You work with dicky. Yeah, I'm going to be here. Okay. I should supply many, many years ago. I was just talking to you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you I should supply the team in all days. Okay. What are you supply them? What are you supply now? No, I don't do areas. I do appliances. What are you doing in the appliances? Home appliances. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay, love you. Okay, I'm going to do more time. Yeah, meet some stuff. I'm in the... You told me in Tintik. I'm doing a awning. I do a mini. In the mini. Windows, doors, balustrades. Showers, walk-offs, highlights, all of it. Yeah, I'm just staying here, but I'm going to sell these things to mine. Can I take your number? Yeah. Yeah, I should like that. Oh, I'll take your number. My number's on the screen. Yeah. My board. Oh, there you are. Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. So it's simple. Move it around. Yeah. The people. Speakers. Yeah, I'm going to go like that. Slowly. 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 Slowly, then. yeah, gradual. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've, I've done this before. No, let me check, let me check, let me check. Let me check. Let me check that. Ladies and gentlemen, as you come in, please, there, there's quite a bit of seats up in front and mm -hmm. even in the center of the hall. Before we put up any more chairs in the back, can we please take up the seats? Oh, there we go, yeah. Up front. Let's keep it here. Let's see.
calling the attention of our officiating priest, Guru Clinton Reddy, ladies and gentlemen. If we all are comfortably seated, we wait to commence this evening's service. Before I kick off into my MC, may I kindly ask that we all rise and open with prayer so that we can create our space of worship for the same people. to 
you see this function. When I look at this beautiful frame placed in front of us, and for one single person to draw the attention and the presence of all of us speaks volumes of the soul that we had to bid farewell to. Mrs. Kanyama Reddy, very, very fondly and lovingly known to all of us as Bigama. A real gem that spanned all of our lives. She was a large part of each and every one of our lives, especially the nieces and nephews. I'm not even going to begin to talk about the grandchildren and of course extended family and friends. Sadly though, we all know, as sure as the sun rises, it sets. Our birth is predetermined and of course, on arrival, it's predetermined when we shall exit. And at the ripe old age of 89, about to touch the 90th and we were looking forward to celebrating that with pomp and ceremony. But God has his own plans. Shortly after celebrating and completing her 89th birthday, Amma was called back home. And of course, early in the day we were talking about it. And we said, you know, she knew exactly that she had to leave and things when we look back at the things that she had said makes us understand that somehow we are given that divinity of thought and to cut loose the ties that we attach ourselves to. We've got speakers lined up through the evening. I don't want to take up much of your time. But just to say that please become a part of the service and I know that she feels your presence here as we do hers. You are being led this evening with divine services by the Saraswati Service Group Haley from Phoenix and I know we've heard them and we are sure that they will sing to her as she continues a final leg of her departure from the earthly plane. In traditional South Indian, we observe the 15th night and we say a fond farewell to our dearest mom. It's now over to Mervyn and team. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this service will be rendered in two segments. The first half being devotional songs, and the second half will be the Teva ones, the sacred songs, where we'll ask the family, friends, and relatives to come at the front of the altar and bid farewell to our lovely dear mom. The first song that we're going to start off with, Lord Ganesha, is going to open the way for our mom's journey to Moksha. So sit back and relax, we'll take you on to a musical journey for the next hour. Oh 
in return for the love that was shown to her on her day we said goodbye to her remains. Added to that, to all my cousins that are here, that are sporting these beards, it was not normal and it was not normally done, apart from the grandchildren, yeah, but almost all my cousins had remained unshaven for the last two weeks. And that is out of sheer respect and love for a great soul like our dear mom. And to speak on behalf of all the cousins, I'd like to call on my sister Dolly, who will do the needful. Thank you. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus this evening. I stand here representing all my cousins. We're not cousins, we are sisters and brothers. This is our big ama, but she was our precious mother. She was so full of love, so giving, so caring. She was somebody that was so strong-willed, very set in her ways. You need to do the right and shun the wrong. And the way she would say it to you, just say it bluntly whether you like it or not. But you know what? None of us took offense. We knew her and we knew that she loved us immensely. For me, I personally have the most beautiful memories that I shared with her. And I know each one of my brothers and sisters, if called here, will say, will have so much to say about her. And you know, when she comes to visit with my mom in Woodview, Phoenix, I live next door to my mom. And she will order my son and uh, with my husband because she calls him, everyone calls him, his name is Cyril, but they all call him Cyrilla so lovingly. And she will order him around and ask him, what's for breakfast? And we'll make the breakfast and both of us will carry it next door. And when she's done, she'll ask, what's for lunch? And then what's for the dessert? What fruit you got for me? You know, we will come home, we'll take the dessert for her. Then my husband will cut the fruit, he'll take it in the plate. But I remember this one day when she said, hey, my children are walking too much up and down, they're very tired and said, Amba, come, let us go over for breakfast today. And she dragged my mother along because my mother is a uh, fanatic when it comes to doing housework. So she brought her along. And in my home, she has a special chair. And I also gave her one to bring to chuck the scroll. So as soon as she's coming, my husband would say, the queen is coming. So we'll take the chair from the normal place and we'll turn it around so she can sit in comfort and she can watch TV. Our days were spent in Salt Rock. It was either all the, the nieces and nephews in her house so full, no place to sleep, everybody cramped in head, lakeside, everywhere and having so much of fun. And amazingly, the way they cooked and they fed us and we just rolled and tumbled together and had such beautiful time. It was either salt rock or it was unit in Chatsworth in my mom's home. So to all my cousins, I want to say, Amma loved you all. You all weren't a sister's children. You all were a very own. And she loved you all immensely. And uh, to my sister, I want to say, we feel your pain, babe, 
we are with you. Thank you so much for your love, for embracing Ma, for doing all that you did tirelessly, and for loving her. It's not been easy, but God has given you the strength and I know that he would continue to be with you and he would love you and he would hold your hands and take you along this journey. To my brother and my sister-in-law, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all that you all have done. Your reward is great in heaven and I know that Amma will be guiding you all and watching over it each one of y'all. This is my tribute. I don't want to go into the grandchildren because this is a tribute that is just from us, the children. To my dear mom, who's left all alone, it's very painful for her. And the dear brother, my mama, it's so painful because my mom is the prankster in the family. Only now she's gone very quiet. But my mom, my big mama, and my mother, they had a lot of fun together. And I know my mother is feeling this loss very immensely. And I pray God's strength upon you, mom. And know that Ma loves you and she's also watching over you. To you, big mama, I want to say from all of us, we love you very much. Thank you for all that you have done for us and for showering your love upon us. We really love you from the bottom of our heart. Ma, you have fought a good fight. You have finished your race. May you rest in peace, Ma. And we know today you will be rejoicing with Big Dad, with Anna, with Jerry, with Akka. You, your family is awaiting you ma, on the other side. Go well, Ma. God bless. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ma'am, for those beautiful sentiments. Om Namashivaya Om Namashivaya Om Kando Tulam Vila Thank you. 
as a domestic at the caravan park, where, like you heard my sister say, that we spent many a holiday there. And we all became used to caravan life. I remember those days when we sat on the hillside and we spotted the caravan coming down baby. And we'd say, that's mine, and that's mine, and that's mine. And over the years, those caravanners that came down, holiday makers, they became attached to mum and others that lived in the area. So they all shared the work and they were great friends. Together, mum and dad built their own little family, bearing four children, of whom sadly, Mom had to lay to rest Sam, also known as Ronnie, who died in the prime of his life. He was the apple of our eye, and I think so too was he, the rest of the families. Then was Sammy, we all fondly know as Southern, sadly passed on after a long battle with her illness, followed by Jerry, the third child, surviving children here, babes, who's done an excellent job. Dad's going the extra mile. Survived equally by the daughter-in-laws, Shaita, Poppy, Mogi and Rita. I'm not even going to begin with the grandchildren because that has been specially allocated to one of the grandsons who will be coming up to address you. So mum lived a full life, juggling home, work and family. Not just the immediate family, but the extended family as well. And remember, back in the day, transportation was a major issue, but it was never a problem. When they needed to be there, they were there. And I'm standing here very, very proudly. That there was nothing, and sometimes I, I feel a little bit special because I think to all my aunts and uncles, I, I stood out as, as the best. And uh, we were discussing it because one of them said, yeah, Every time they said something, oh, it was seldom. Every, every time they said something bad about me, their mother would say, I'll kick you. Don't ever say that about my child. You know, that, that kind of love that was shown to all of us. And I know that the grandchildren are going to be telling you some of their own relationships that they had with their grand. And tonight, representing all the grandchildren the granddaughter-in-laws, the grandson-in-laws, and the great-grandchildren. Proudly, Leon Reddy, who will address you. Thank you. Good evening, dear family and friends. My speech is from all the grandchildren in our family. Granny, Great Granny, Aya, Ma, Sawtruck Aya, Amma, Big Amma, Mary, Amoy were some of the names Aya was known as. Her love for you was pure and unconditional. She was strong in culture and tradition and held a special place of respect and honour. Aya was the backbone of the family, same as any other granny and was looked upon as a source of wisdom, guidance and emotional support. I was a source of stability and security by guiding all of us in different situations in which we may find ourselves. With her example of positive values, ideals and beliefs, she acted as a role model for her grandchildren and taught us great skills. To some of us, I has been a caregiver, a teacher, a playmate. She was a trusted advisor to her own adult children who became parents themselves. Sadly, Aya had to endure the pain of losing her husband in 1988, her eldest son in 1999, her eldest daughter in 2015, and her youngest son in 2020. 
Aya will always be a mentor for all the younger generations to come. She was also an historian in studying ethnic heritage and passing on family traditions. Societies around the world acknowledge that grandmothers play an influential role in the socialization, acculturation, and care of children as they grow up and develop, and in the education and supervision of their daughters and daughters-in-law. The most important part of grandma's responsibilities is bonding with a grandchild in a relationship filled with love and care. We have been blessed to have this for such a long time. Aya being an amazing grandma, spent quality time with her grandchildren. She told many stories about family history and roots. With her wealth of knowledge via life experiences, Aya played a vital role in fostering intergenerational relationships. Aya was a source of information, wisdom and comfort for many members of our community. A grandma is warm hugs and sweet memories. She remembers all our accomplishments and forgets all of our mistakes. She represents strength, perseverance and kindness. Our grandmother had to exhibit this strength her entire life. Our parents give us life. Our grandparents are also our parents who give us a sense of who we are and where we come from. As we say goodbye to Aya, it hit me how incredibly lucky we have been to have our lovely grandmother with us for 46 years. Vanessa Aka, our eldest cousin, with Sean Anna following close by. Yes, Vanessa and Sean are only four years away from turning 50. <laughs> 46 years is an integral close part of this family. It is so precious for a grandparent-grandchild relationship to be essential and so long-lasting. Aya was that exceptional kind of person every single day of her life with a V12 engine that kept her with us for so long. I don't think Uncle Chris's Mustang stood a chance against our Aya. Until the last decade or so, our grandmother had more energy and interest in life than anyone we have ever known. Aya made her fair share of efforts to visit as many families and friends as she could. As much as it saddened her that some of us couldn't visit her often enough, she always took great understanding that work and family responsibilities kept everyone busy. However, she also never failed to scold us once in a while, asking us, when are you coming to see me? So long I never see you. Our grandmother was an incredible matriarch. Really, she was the legal leader in our family. She was always part of our everyday lives in such a tangible way. The constant loving presence really shapes a person. From our grandparents we learn, we come from, learn our history and, and we learn who we are. She loved deeply and fully, all of us. She was a kind of person who just had more love in her heart for anybody who joined our family. The story of our grandmother wouldn't be complete if I didn't pay homage to her incredible cooking. She prepared everything well. But for me, the dish that stands out the most. When we should visit her in Somers, I couldn't resist the mushroom curry, ayame. The texture and the size of the pieces cut made my taste buds do roller coasters in my mouth. Melinda says ayame the best kitchari and chutney. Ronel says ayame the best brinjal curry. I come back to this notion that for 46 years, our grandmother has been an influential and important part of our lives. How truly exceptional that it's for us to have Aya for 46 years. Even on the day that she left us, she passed away peacefully at approximately 6 a.m. And at approximately 10 a.m. the same morning, which was approximately four hours later, another grand, great grandchild entered our family. Look at God's timing. As much as we can't quite believe she is gone, we all must appreciate that she lived a very long life which most of us may not experience. She had a peaceful death, which is a blessing. God did not allow her to go through any prolonged suffering, and we thank God for this. Aya was impacted, Aya has impacted all our lives in so many ways, which I am sure we all can share. However, time doesn't allow this right now. I must share something with all of you. Many years ago, through some of my own struggles, Aya was concerned about me and kept saying, we must go open book for this child. 
Those of you who know me well, I delayed this issue for so long until Aya and Sarah were so persistent and just to keep them quiet, I said, okay, and went to the museum of Raman to open a book for this child. I suddenly was amazed with the experience and followed the remedial prayer and fasted religiously. Now here comes a twist in the story. So the next day I went to see Uncle Raman and Auntie Kamala alone and they already got warmed up to me and was able to speak more freely to me. Then they spoke about this girl. So they told me about this girl and then the following year I went back and they asked me, did you find the girl? And I said no. And I left it for one year and I left it for two years and I never found the girl. Eventually now we are married for 12 years. Aya basically shaped a big part of my future. She influenced all of us so greatly. We will always love you and save a special corner of our hearts to keep you with us. And we will always miss you every day of our lives. A special message from Sean, Monty and Vanessa. Ready? Grandma, with the gift of years comes the treasure of knowing that there are many who love you dearly. The memories you've made with us will last forever. The tenderness you share with us will never fade. The most wonderful gift you could ever give is a special part of you that now lives in each of us. And the truth your love has taught us can only be strengthened by the gift of time. Death leaves a heartache difficult to heal. Love leaves sweet memories no one can steal. You may be out of sight but will never be out of our minds until we meet again, Mom. Another special message from Vanessa, Megan and Mary. Although you sleep in heaven now, you are not that far away. Our hearts are full of memories and you are the one and you are with us every day. You lived your life with meaning and with a smile upon your face. A world that was full of happiness is now an empty place. People say that only time will heal a broken heart. But just like that, Amma, it has been torn apart. We know you are at peace now and in a place where you are free. My last page, page number seven. A special message from Reynold Reddy. Precious memories of our childhood almost lost in time. The Salt Rock Barracks was one of the favorite places. The excitement of catching the fruit that the trance auntie threw during the big prayers. Running up and down the banks, falling down the bank and still getting hiding on top of it. Running after the little chicks, then getting chased by the mother hen. How I shouted at me every time I put my hand in the fish tank. How I never went to the toilet because I was somehow terrified that the black toilet seat like it was going to eat me up or something. As for songs, those Christmas get-togethers would be out in special treats and Aya used to sneak and give me. All of us cutting and eating the madonis, even though only a few could climb the huge tree. One of my favorite memories is how Aya's trance used to only whack Denzel with the sling of things, even though we both made mischief. But my best memory of Aya is a constant compliment that I just that I looked just like my father. The love in Aya's eyes was precious. Oh, and how could I forget the dosa that Aya made every time she stayed over and the black tea with Mari Biscuit. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our speakers. We are going into the second half of the service this evening. A humble appeal. There will be we humbly ask that you come in your little family groups, units, and it would be appreciated if you could assemble down the aisle after the first song that is going to be rendered, we will commence with the Divartham. So please be in readiness.
to come through. Thank you, Leon, for those lovely scripts. And this is the one you have so you can be found. We have another song before we move on to the second half of the agenda, dedicated to Amma. Thank you. 
Yeah. 
to be graced by your presence. That is the blessing. And it's always believed that when one leaves this earthly plane during an auspicious time such as the month of Kirtasya, the gates of heaven stand in readiness to welcome you home. And being Saivas, you will see the Nandaraja on your right and Lord Shiva encircled in the flame, in the ring of flame. And this song that I want to dedicate to Ma is a fervent prayer to Lord Shiva Perumani to grant our dear Ma everlasting peace, bliss, happiness and rest. Her tired hands now deserve to be finally addressed. But I also know that those hands would be standing in blessing to each and every one of you. To our 
esteemed service group whom I'm having the pleasure of meeting very often these days and it is such a pleasure to listen to you and I think the divinity created this evening is met. Mika Mika Nandri. To our service, service provider, the van and team, to the team that prepared the meals, to all the sponsors and well-wishers in there, a heartfelt thank you, sincere appreciations go out to you. To the custodians of the venue that we are using this evening, many thanks goes out to you for availing this venue to us. And I think when I look at the hall and what it offers, this is community service. We appreciate that immensely. To the neighbours, friends and other well-wishers, your visits over the last 14 days has certainly touched our hearts to know that you share in our grief, you support us through this period of mourning and we know that we can count on you in the days ahead. To all of you that readily brought eats and other goodies, thank you. Sharing is certainly caring and we appreciate that immensely. To the grandchildren, I think you have spoken in your own loud way since the funeral and the kind of leadership that you displayed, taking charge, and I can certainly say this, that as we grow older, and I speak of my cousins, because most of my cousins, we already hitting the 50s, late 50s into the 60s, and that means we're getting old. We know that the patents have been handed successfully to the generations, and you in turn will do the same. Until this morning, I did not know that we were going to be treated with a beautiful slideshow. And Misha, thank you, my dear, for that. And all your secrets, helping and hands your elves that readily put things together. I think that would be a real feast. Uh, because I know many of us that are seated here would know Ma since they moved into the area. But we all have spoken of uh, Bingo Farm, Somos and uh, Salt Rock. Some of us have not been to the area. So you will have a glimpse of what Salt Rock was, what it meant. And those of you who have watched the movie, the local movie that was uh, screened here maybe about a decade or so ago, white gold, those rolling hills of Shu King, you will see that, and of course, the beautiful coastline and the beaches that we really, really cherish. So once again, my humble apologies to anyone that I have left out, of course, oh yes, I would like to please acknowledge the two sons in law. That's Logi and Balan. I think they've also stood as pillars over the years and more especially in the recent days, ferrying Ma up and down to the hospital, to doctors, weekend visits. They've done their bit. Thank you goes out to you two gentlemen as well. May I ask the all grandchildren to please assemble out in front, we're going to be concluding the prayer with the final arti. So all of you, led by Dad, to please assemble. And other family members that wish to join us, may I kindly ask that we all stand, remain standing, as we bring this evening service to a close. And a loving invitation all of you, after we have concluded, take some time to socialize. I'm sure you will be meeting people after a period of time. And do enjoy a cup of tea, a glass of cool drink, and some tasty goodies that we have.
becoming an enemy. Thank you. Whilst they set it up after we completed the Ardi Divartana move, we're going to be treated to a slideshow. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Mutti Nadi Ariyade Mutkarudu Bandana, Urubaru, Kamiba, Bandana, 
Mithyol Moksha Mamrita Om Triyambagam Nijamah Sukhindam Pushti Vardhanam Uruvaru Kamiva Pandana Mithyol Moksha Mamrita Om Triyambagam Nijamah Sukhindam Pushti Vardhanam Uruvaru Kamiva Pandana Mithyol Moksha Mamrita Kalla Priyam Kalda Priyam Kasudrigi Yella Priyam Ninaya Priyam Ninaya Priyam Sarla Priyam Tridhiya Priyam Tora Priyam Yella Priyam Kurutharavaya Kichyegumvane Harupherum Jodhi Taniperum Karune Taniperum Karune Harupherum Jodhi Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Hello everyone, welcome Please take your seats There will be a fly slideshow over 15 minutes So please get your Please get focused onto the screen on the right hand side Thank you, you can end it
when you can stand together, support each other, and give off the most important of your time. We all have the 24 hours in a day, no one less or more. So make the time, especially to your parents. And if you look at what we've just witnessed, you would see those lovely moments. And just the one thing to, to dwell on is early in April this year, we had a family reunion. And I think it was such a blessing that we all took that time to be together. And these are moments that we have created that will last a lifetime. And when we have to say goodbye to a parent like this, we live with no regrets because we've given them the best of what we could do as children. We now are journeying to tea, refreshments, family and friends. There's also ample biryanis that have been pre-packed for you. You want to take away a lunch pack for you? Please help yourself at the dining area. We have already pre-packed them for you. But do enjoy. To all those of you who have traveled far and wide, safe traveling mercies to you and reunite, reconnect with your families. Okay, uh, I came to come room, appreciate you, please say that your teas are on my left, which is on your right, and your eats are placed out at the tables, so please do help yourselves.